Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a purchase or pass. As you know, these videos have been started by Samantha March and popularized by a lot of different YouTubers. I will leave some people's information down below as well as the Instagram accounts that I pull all of my reference photos from. If this sounds like something you're interested in watching, stick with me. We're going to get into it right now. talk about is the Ofra and Gen Loves Reviews collab. So they're releasing three lip mixers that are in their matte liquid lipstick formula and basically the concept of this is that you take these shades that are you know a little bit off for you that are in your existing collection they might be a little too light they might be a little too dark they might be a little too orange who knows and you mix these shades in with them to get like your perfect color and I guess Jen Loves Reviews gets ready um, with some of her audience and she's always struggling to find a lip color that she likes perfectly to go with her products. Um, so I kind of see where she's coming from with this idea. I just feel like this could be any liquid lipstick. You don't need these three liquid lipsticks in order to do this process. You just need one that's too light or too dark or whatever. Um, so I don't think I'm going to pick this one up just because I don't really see the necessity to pick it up. Um, also I tend not to struggle too much to find a perfect lip color. I have a bunch that I really like and I just use them regularly so I don't know. Um, the next thing is that I Heart Revolution is dropping two more of their chocolate bar palettes which they seem to be more popular for now than Too Faced um, and these little bronzer highlighter duos. Um, Bronzer highlighter? Bronzer contour. I, it's hard to tell from the pictures. Um, but you have one light and one dark shade. So I'm, I don't know. Um, they look cute. The packaging, of course, is cute. I'm probably not going to pick any of these up because I feel like I don't need them in my collection. Um, which is, if you're interested in seeing a collection video, stick with me because over the next couple weeks I'll be releasing my collection in a series. Um, Okay, so the next thing is that Tom Ford is releasing the most boring summer palettes ever. They have four eyeshadows and then what looks like a highlight and a contour, highlight and a bronzer. Again, it's kind of hard to tell. The color stories are pretty boring and their color stories we've seen before. You don't need this. You absolutely don't need this. Alright, the next thing is L'Oreal is releasing these Gold Mirage Single Shadows and they are warm toned, neutral, sparkly shades for $13 a piece. $13 a piece L'Oreal, where do you get off, honestly? Um, I'm definitely not picking up any of these. I don't understand why somebody would pay $13 for a single eyeshadow from L'Oreal when you could pay like... $15 and get like a Cleona single. Like those multi-chrome singles. Far and away better than this and way, way, way more interesting color stories. So that's a no from me. They also have some lip glosses which like whatever. It's fine. Um, and there's a Kopari, what is this, hydrating body wash for $18. I don't need to pay $18 for a body wash. So that's a no. Uh, Trixie Cosmetics from Trixie Mattel, um, she's releasing some lip glosses and lipsticks and it has like the cutest packaging ever, like she 10 out of 10 killed the packaging, it's like 80's Barbie vibes all the way. Um, I really do like the colors that she picked out, um, they're $16 a piece. I think they're really, really pretty. I probably won't pick up any of these because I have so, so many lip products. Um, so something really has to like blow me out of the water to be ordering lip products at this point. Hourglass released an in Instant Extensions Mascara. Um, do we have a price? No, but it's available already so you can go check it out if you want. I love my Essence Cosmetics Mascara and it's $5 so I'm not in the market for high-end mascaras like really I'm just not 
I, I don't have a big enough channel or following anywhere to warrant testing out all these mascaras just to see what they're like. Um, so this will be a pass for me as well. Okay, Minted Cosmetics, which is a black owned makeup brand, they have released four shades of bronzer and they the packaging for these is gorgeous. I'm here for it. They're $22. Um, they come in light, medium, deep, and rich, and it looks like they go pretty dark. Like, this one looks very, very dark. Um, so I think those are really nice. I don't think I'll be picking one up because I did just pick up the Kiko Milano bronzer from their Unexpected Paradise collection. Um, so I do have a bunch of bronzers already to be working through. But if I had not, I would seriously consider picking this one up instead. All right. Jouer released their Champagne and Macaron collection. There are two face palettes and then a bunch of eye trios and some lip products. The, oh gosh, these lip products look really pretty. So the lip products look gorgeous. I seriously may think about them at some point, even though they're $17 a piece. I don't know. I don't know about that. Um... The rest of the, the stuff, like, it's cute and all, but I really already have these colors in different palettes and stuff, so I don't think I need to pay $42 for four eye trios, on top of which I don't think that people of different skin tones are going to be able to use all four of the trios, so putting them together like that just seems wasteful. It would make more sense to release them maybe for, like, $15 or $20 a piece, um, because it's Jouer, so you're not going to get a price lower than that, um, but release them individually so that somebody doesn't have to buy a bunch that aren't going to work for them. Just my two cents. Um, okay, so the next one is Kimchi Chic and Naomi Smalls released a collab together. They have an eyeshadow palette, a face palette, and two lip products. I was really excited when I saw the promo photos for this because I thought, wow, this is going to be super innovative and interesting. Um, and when I got to the actual like release pictures of what was inside the the eyeshadow palette is kind of boring the face palette is kind of whatever it's a face palette and the lip colors are pretty typical lip colors for how bright and bold their outfits were for the photo shoot that they did I feel like the palette doesn't bring me there there's too much orange and brown and not enough like vivid brights for me so I'll be passing over that but I'm kind of disappointed because that would have been a cool collection to pick up Alright, the next one is Pure and Raw Beauty Christie. So, I've been watching Raw Beauty Christie for a hot second, and she's absolutely hilarious. I have really enjoyed a lot of her videos. Um, it's really exciting to find out that after trying for like 10 to 12 years, they're now pregnant as well, which is super cool. Um, and she's releasing a makeup collab, which is her first collab, I believe. Um, so she released two pairs of lashes, which I already have tons and tons of lashes that I need to use, so I'm good there. Um, and then she released a double-sided eyeshadow palette. And I was so excited when I heard about it because I love Raw Beauty Christie, and she's so creative with her looks that I just thought it was going to be like, I don't know what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be amazing no matter what. And then she showed us a palette, and it's like neutrals on one side, and like sort of a muted rainbow palette on the other side and then only two of the shades out of the 18 are shimmers everything else is a matte and I was kind of bummed like I don't know what I was expecting honestly the packaging is 100% gorgeous she drew everything herself but like I wanted to like it more than I like it and so then part of me was like well I should probably still purchase it because I want to support her and whatever and then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, why? Like, why are you doing this to yourself? Because, like, she doesn't need your $30, you know what I mean? Like, she, she will be okay. <laughs> so, I decided not to order it. My aunt was going to order it, and she struggled, struggled to get onto the website. And after, like, three attempts, she gave up and logged off, which I don't blame her at all. Um... I did see a post from another person that I follow on Instagram who said she waited 12 and a half hours in line on Pure's website to get the palette and no 
I would never in my life waste 12 hours of my day. Like, I learned with the Too Faced Sweet Peach debacle, I learned that you don't wait for makeup. It will make you bitter and angry about the makeup when you finally get it anyway. And chances are it's not selling out anytime soon. So if you want something, get it, but don't don't waste your life trying to get it because there will be more makeup. You don't worry. <laughs> All right. So the next thing is from Artist Couture and they've released an 8 pan palette which is very like summer vibes, reds, yellows, oranges, some lipsticks and actually it looks like maybe just one lipstick and two lip glosses. The glosses of course look so pretty. I'm a lip gloss addict. It's it's bad. Um, the lipstick is like a fire engine red so I don't typically wear lip colors this bright so I probably won't wear that one. Um, and I don't need this palette. I feel like I have other things in my collection that I could use to make a fiery look so I'll probably pass over that. Moira Cosmetics released four eyeshadow palettes that are um, themed around fruit. It's their Juicy series. And I thought the one palette was kind of cool that it's like a kiwi something palette. Um, it has like some funky greens and like deep blue aqua teal kind of colors. I thought that one was really pretty. I like some of the purples, the cool tone purples in... I have no idea what colors these are. Oh, very cute. Um, and then I like the pink and green like contrast in the apple palette. Um, but I don't think I like any of them enough by themselves to buy them alone. They're $17 a piece or you can get 54 you can get all four for $54.99. $95, sorry. Okay. And then Too Faced just released a Plump and Prime Luxury Face Plumping Primer Serum. And a whole bunch of lip products. I don't know if these lip products are going to be... Yeah. So the lip products are all in that lip plumper, lip injection formula, which... I used once and got chemical burns to my lips and I could not wear lip products for several days afterwards. So this entire collection is going to be a no for me just out of the fear that it's going to like burn my face off. I don't need that kind of irritation all over my face. I'm not worried about my face looking more plump. Like we're good sis. So that'll all be a no for me. Lily Lashes did a quad of false lashes that are strip lashes with like a little bag here. Um, they're $30 a piece or you can get the full collection for $90 with the bag. It's super cute but if you're paying $30 for lashes there's something wrong with you. Just saying. I am subscribed to a lash service um, that delivers lashes every other month and the quality of their lashes is fantastic. These are actually some of their lashes that I'm wearing right now. These are called Self Love. Um, and I'm also a lash ambassador for an indie brand called Reve Boutique. Um, so if you're interested in getting some lashes and you would like something that's not $30 a pair, I will leave some information down below. Um, and then the, oh, I got a couple more things yet. So Sydney Grace is doing their Christmas in July sale right now, um, and they're offering some really good deals. I think today's is the best deal, which is um, a free mystery bag of products with the purchase of um, like $55 worth of stuff on their site. I do think some of their stuff is really pretty, but the one thing I was eyeing up already sold out, so it's okay. Another sale will come around. I'm not in. So I have no idea where we left off at because my camera died. And that's just, that's just what it is. I think we were talking about the Bitter Lace Beauty uh, Unity Highlighter that they have coming out where all the proceeds are going to two different organizations to help with Black Lives Matter causes. I think this is really, really cool. I probably won't purchase it just because, um, I, 
being so fair, I think most of the pan is going to be too deep for me. Um, so I think it would be a little bit hard for me to work with. Honestly, I'm a little scared to work with it. Um, but I do think it's a really cool cause. I think it's a cool highlighter. And I think for people of like medium to deeper skin tones, this is probably going to be perfect for them. And I think that that's, that's awesome. Not everything needs to be designed. The next thing, My Alley Beauty is going to be posting um, a highlighter palette, and it has six different shades. The one shade looks fair enough to be able to work for my skin tone, but the rest look very, very deep, um, and I'd only be able to use those for eyeshadows. Again, not designed for me. That's totally fine. There are plenty of other highlighter palettes that are designed for me. Um, so... I think it's really pretty. I think other people will really enjoy it and I'm hoping that their formula is the same as Brush Blush Tribe since that's the brand that they used to be. Um, so that's something to to consider if you're of like a medium or deeper skin tone. And the last thing to talk about is Shine by Sid Cosmetics is doing a golden hour collection which looks like it's about 13 shadows. They look really, really pretty. Everything looks like it shifts a little bit gold. Um, I'm not sure that you necessarily need all 13 just because how many times can you do like a color shifting gold that's going to be remarkably different. Um, but I do think they're really pretty. I probably won't pick any of these up right now. Um, but I wouldn't fall too if you pick them up because <laughs> again, they look really pretty. <laughs> Alright, so that concludes this week's purchase or pass. I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, again, I'll leave some information down below about the creators that I use in order to put this um, video together and Samantha March's channel and her community playlist where other creators have come together to put their opinions about makeup. Um, and then of course some information about the lashes that I've been using and enjoying so that you don't have to spend yourself $30 on one pair of lashes. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright, and with that said, I think that's everything for today. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to catch you in my next video.